and, and how excited is there a level between excitement and preparation? Are, are the two blending yet, or, or, or is it still too far away? Well, I, I think our excitement was reflected in the winning goal by Ethan Finlay yeah. in overtime when uh, you saw that pile of players on the field. Uh, certainly, we are looking forward to the challenge ahead, and you know, it was our goal all along that perhaps we are fortunate enough to make it to this point. And uh, now we have an opportunity to go even further. How long do you allow yourself to celebrate? Because the guys seem already focused on Charlotte and getting to the next level. Well, yeah, I mean, it's business as usual after that because that's how we've handled it all season long. You know, you don't want to get carried away. Um, you know, the event should not override that it's still a game that has to be played against a very competitive team. You've had plenty of experience at the College Cup. You know, you know what it takes to win there. What do all those teams that have success there, what do they all have in common? What do you hope your team has? Well, I think the teams that are successful are the teams that focus uh, at the task at hand. Um, they uh, really are very much in tune into what's going on, making good decisions on the field, managing their game well and taking advantage of the opportunities because at this point, let's face it, you know, every team is quality. So now it's the minute differences that can change the outcome of a game. What do you know about Charlotte? Um, we know very little about Charlotte, um, and that may be the same for them. But uh, we have not played, I mean, I've not played them with North Carolina in the last uh, eight, nine years. Uh, certainly not since Jeremy Gunn is there as a head coach. Um, and it has nothing to do with him, it was just a coincidence that we didn't, uh, although they were two and a half hours away. So I've, I've really very rarely seen him in action and seen him play, but apparently he's a very good team. This is one of those situations, though, that you take care of you and usually everything falls into place. Just make sure you guys stay on and play your game. Well, that has to be a priority. You know, our opponent is never a priority for us. You know, our own team is a priority. And, and that's how I always handle it, and that's how I will continue to handle it. Your history in the College Cup, what, what can you tell the guys about the atmosphere and everything else? Because it's more than just a soccer game, and how do you try to tell them to avoid all the distractions that comes with this weekend? Yeah, you're saying it's more than a soccer game, and of course it is because of the attention, but it is still just a soccer game. And, and the trick is to make sure that they understand they have to manage that game. They cannot be carried away by, you know, being treated like a rock star and, you know, all these cameras uh, swirling around and now all of a sudden it changes things. You know, it really doesn't change anything. We just have to be sharp. We have to come and compete and we have to manage our game again.